Hello ladies and gentlemen, I want to welcome you to my channel. I am of course as always your host Freakazoid67216 and I want to give you a wonderful good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night depending on where you are in the world and what time of day it is that you are watching this video. So we are going to be working on the new content that has come out for Star Trek Online continuing the story arc of the year of Klingon with the new addition to the series of the very talented Sam Whitwer. I hope you guys enjoy this episode and without further ado, let's get into the game. The time has come at last. With the aid of Tenavik and the monks of Boreth, we are ready to take the next step on this strange strange journey we are ready to restore the soul of Lorel. come to the monastery on boreth as soon as you can lady jula general martok and i will be waiting for you there what i am about to tell you is unusual I ask that you hear me out before making any sort of judgment. Tenavik believes that the soul of Laurel was not restored to her clone because it is trapped within the depths of Grethor. Based on my own research, I am inclined to agree with him. We aren't sure. What I do know is Lady Jula wants to take a spiritual journey to Grethor to liberate the soul of Laurel. Tenavik has assured us that such a journey is possible and is willing to facilitate the process. While some of us have our doubts, Jula is convinced she must do this. And so, here we are. If necessary, yes. She requests that you join her on this journey, however. You and General Martok. I have. I would like to see if such a thing can be done. If it is possible, Jeula will need all the help she can get in a place filled with the worst pieces of Bakhtag ever to call themselves Klingons. Speaking of Jeula. She wanted a word with you once you arrived. You have arrived. Good. We have a challenging journey ahead of us. Tanavik can explain more about it to you. It will be a challenge. One that will test your body, mind, and soul. Even the strongest of warriors can fall on such a journey. It is not a path to be traveled lightly. <laughs> the future of the Empire is at stake. Lorel can guide us to victory over Jempak. For that, I will do what must be done, even if I have to destroy Fekla himself. To enter Grethor, you'll need to be on the precipice of death. The fumes of this incense will allow you to enter a death-like comatose state. That is when your journey will begin. Adipa and I will monitor your bodies from here. This does not seem like Grethor. This is not Grethor. This is Koth. The Void. Why are we here? Perhaps we are here because our fates are not yet decided. 
But the ritual... Wait. Wait. Something approaches from the mists. What brings you to a place where neither honor nor dishonor reigns? I do not know you. You, I know from tales of the past. Joula, sister of Tukugma, the matriarch of House Mokai. But you, General Matak, I will never forget you. Why are you here? I must admit, I am surprised to see you here, Martok. Did your friends in the Federation finally convince you to do something less than honorable before you died? Was it Sisko? Or was it your good friend Worf, the treacherous son of Moog? Who are you, Patak? And why are you... Wait. Those eyes. I have seen such eyes before. Yes, you have. For this is Galron, son of Morel, son of Akar. And to answer your question, I am not dead yet, Galron. My allies and I are merely passing through. Passing through, are you? There are but two destinations you can reach from Koth, and I'll wager you're not traveling to Strovokor. You mentioned my ancestor, Akar. He served House Mokai during the war with the Federation. Does your little journey have something to do with him? It does not. Though I suspect his treachery is the reason you are here now, Galron. After all, the dishonor of the father also dishonors his sons and their sons for three generations. You are many things, Martok, but a liar is not one of them. If I had any doubt of that, I would kill you where you stand for insulting the honor of my grandfather. So, Ekar's dishonor has kept me trapped in this wretched place. Not the fate I had expected. Indeed. Grethor, our destination. You said it could be reached from here. Do you know the way? I do. I can guide you there if you wish it. Wait. The Galron I knew would not aid anyone if it did not benefit him in some way. What scheme are you hiding behind this sudden act of benevolence? <laughs> Look around you, Mata. There is little to do in this place but brood and despair. I'm taking you there for my amusement. And perhaps there may be a way out of this place. If there is, I would find it, even if I have to march at your side to do so. <laughs> Does that satisfy you, or shall we stand here for eternity and ponder my motivations? This is the barge of the dead, laden with souls bound for Grethor. You'll want to announce yourself to Kotar. It is unwise to vex the ferryman. The legends of the Ferryman are true. You are Kortar, the first Klingon, slayer of gods. I am, and you are Jaula, kinswoman of Takuvma, matriarch of your house. It is not your time. You should not be here. Explain yourself. My allies and I seek the soul of another, one who should be in Stovakor, but now dwells in Grethor. It is not your time. Lorel. I know no Lorel. 
But I know you, Cha'ula. You left me to die in a Starfleet prison. Oh, you rescued your pet, a car. But not a lonely Beck, trapped in his cell. And during your raid, an explosion exposed my cell to the cold void of space. And so I died, dishonored. Be gone! I have nothing more to say to you. That was no way for a warrior to die. It is a fate I narrowly avoided several times myself. Come, let us see what the others know. Larel, here? Kiyach! I may be a coward, but you are an idiot! Everyone knows that Larel is in Stovacor! As for you, you will have an eternity in Grethor to find wisdom, fool. But the lessons that await you will not be pleasant. Mind your tongue, or I will throw you overboard and feed you to the Coast Kari. Lady Jaula, this is getting us nowhere. Perhaps a more direct approach is in order. Out of respect for the ferryman, I will refrain from such measures until they are necessary. Come, let us see if one of the others has something besides rage or the bluster of a coward to offer us. Lady Jaula and General Martok, the architects of my downfall. My house swore allegiance to you. But I saw your crusade against Jempuk for the folly it was. I refused your call to arms at Gorath. And for that, my first officer killed me and took my place as captain. I shall enjoy watching the two of you suffer for the rest of time. You dishonored your house and your crew. You forgot what it meant to be Klingon, Captain. And now you go to pay the price for that. Step away from me now, or your suffering will begin before you walk through the gates of Grethor. Wait your turn. I shall have my vengeance before all others. I do not know who sent you here, Julia, and I do not care. My wish for vengeance has been granted. And I will stay the duck of this barge with your blood! Fight! Fight! Enough! You shall earn no salvation through combat here. Bah! The very man has spared you. For now. Do not think you will rest easy once we reach Grethor. I will find you, and I will have my revenge. This, I swear. Bold words. But I think you'll find that Feklar has plans for you, as he does for all traitors. We're done here. Leave this wretch to his fate. The glory of combat, brief as it was, it felt good to engage in battle once more, to be Klingon. So, there is still something within you that knows what it means to be a warrior. You were the Gauron of old, before the Chancellorship changed you, as it did me, as it did Jempak. And perhaps, Laurel. Interesting. You became Chancellor after I fell in battle? Tell me you killed Worf to do so, or that would have been glorious! I did not. Worf still lives, and serves the Empire to this day. I hope you can handle such a disappointment, Galron. Let us ask the ferryman how much longer it will be until we get to Grethor. You fight with purpose, Daula. Honor to you and your house. 
I think we shall not meet again. And that gladdens my heart. It will be some time before we arrive at Grethor. Tell me of the soul you seek. I would know your story, so I can sing it to the dishonored, to remind them of who they were, of who they could still become. I seek Lorel. She was once called Mother, a great warrior and leader of the Empire. I would liberate her soul. I strive to remove a tyrant from the Emperor's throne, and her counsel will help me to do so. This is why I journey to the halls of Grethor, Ferryman. For the Empire, no risk is too great. I have seen her. Once, she stood not far from where you stand now. She did not speak. She did not have to. But I saw in her the same pain that I carry in my heart. You can find her in Grethor, if the denizens do not end you first. But finding her and liberating her from that wretched place are two different battles. May you find success in both. That is not my tale to tell. Find Lorel, make her story and yours as one, and fight with all your conviction. Then, and only then, may you find a way out of Grethor, for yourself and for Lorel. So there is a way out of Grethor. Tell me, ferryman, how can I find my way in? The gates are locked to me. My path out of Koth has been blocked by the dishonor of my ancestor. But if I can enter Grethor, I can find the liberation that Jaula and her allies seek for Lorel. Speak! Tell me what I wish to know! I will tell you only this. Your story has not ended, Gauron, son of Marel. The scales can be shifted yet, for good or for ill. Now, leave me to my duty. I will call upon you when we draw near to Grethor. Until then, know your place. Do not forget that I am master of this vessel. It is unwise to test my authority here. We have arrived. I will wait for you and your allies here, Chaula. Should you succeed, return to me here, and I will ensure your song does not end in Grethor. You honor us, Kortar, first of the Klingons. We will not keep you waiting long. So it does. Prepare for battle. Our greatest challenge awaits. You will find no one to block your entrance at the gates of Grethor, warriors. Getting out, that will be the challenge. Gauron, a pity you cannot join us. I suspect you would find more entertainment past those gates, in the depths of Grethor itself. <laughs> I do not doubt that. Soon, Fekla will know the frustration of dealing with a Klingon too stubborn to die. Glory to you and your house. Fight with honor, and if necessary, die well. Kapla! The time has come. Go now, warriors. Your destiny lies beyond those gates. We shall see. The halls of Grethor have crushed many a soul. I hope yours do not join their ranks. As for you, Gauron, I would have words with you before we depart. Look at these pathetic wretches. Reporting for damnation like it were duty.
There are the gates. Let us see if entering Grethor is as easy as Kortar said. This is going to be like searching for a cloaked ship in the Briar Patch. We do not seek a mundane soul, General. Few Klingons do not know of Lorel. I do not think a warrior of her caliber would go unnoticed, especially in a place like this. Come, let us speak to others here. It should not take long to find Lorel. More newcomers. This place, oh, it stinks. It's loud and teeming with demons. That said, oh, at least it's warm, unlike Rura Penthe, where I froze to death in a cell. I suppose that is better than filling the belly of a jackal mastiff. We are looking for Lorel. Have you seen her? Huh, can't say I have. Sorry. Well, don't make that face at me. See that man atop the stairs? The one surrounded by she-demons? He's called Kutip. Seems to be a player in here. You might ask him about Lorel. It's easy! You she-demons want souls to devour! I can help with that! No, not my soul, you insufferable harpy! Behold! Newcomers have arrived, my ladies. Come forth, travelers! Let us get to know one another! Listen closely, Fatak. We seek Lorel. Have you seen her? Speak now, before I feed you to your charming friends. You wouldn't! No, wait. You would. I can see it in your eyes. I have not seen this. Lorel. Uh, Vort, uh, you need to talk to Vort. If there's anyone who knows about this, it's her! Please don't feed me to the she demons! Vort must be further in. Let us head through these doors and look for them. sent you? Impressive. I sent my she-demons down to eat him. The silver-tongued bastard must have talked his way out of their bellies. Never mind that. Why are you bothering me, exactly? Someone who looks a lot like Lorel has been seen around. Quiet type. Keeps to herself. That's not an easy thing to do around here. Someone like her could pull it off, I suppose. Indeed. Where can we find her? Ask Lothar. I run my little corner of things, and that's all. She's elsewhere, and for that, you need to talk to Lothar. Unless you want to take it up with Feklar, of course. Ha! Ah, the newcomers, with so many questions, have made their way to me at last. Allow me to welcome you. To the Hall of Treachery. A tragic name, really. We aren't all bad here. Newcomers are quite popular, you know. You've been watched since you set foot past the gate. Can you blame us? We enjoy such amusements whenever we can in Grethel. But enough of that. You have questions, yes? Ask away. If you've been watching us, you know why we're here. Laurel, does she dwell within your domain or not? Calm yourself, General. Yes, I know who you are. The great and terrible Martok, butcher of Zenkath Three, the one I doom, and so forth. Your reputation precedes you, all of you. Enough. You still haven't answered his question, Lothar. Tell us where we can find Laurel, and you'll never see us again. Well, this is embarrassing, but I'm afraid I lost Lorel in a game of poker. Do you know it? Human game. Quite popular in here. <laughs> yes, I lost Lorel to Mordok. 
If you're interested in her, you'll have to deal with him. I hope you're good at cards. What? Laurel? I don't know her. There must be some sort of mistake. Gambler? No, no. This is Lothar's work. I'm sorry. You've been played. We've all been played. And now, now we're gonna suffer for it. Sorry. I told you on the barge that vengeance would be mine. What I meant was, vengeance would be ours. Your luck finally run out, Martok! Flaking damage to Try to die well, Jehula! I was wondering when they'd make their move. Now I know! I count five of them. Have they added another to their ranks? I think the fifth arrival is on our side. Killing you keep is almost poetic, traitor! Two down! Two to go! Your brethren are all gone, traitor! Prepare to meet your end! I hear you have been looking for Lorel. And now, you have found her. We need to talk. Jaula, sister of Takuvma. I know your story well. How you rose to power in House Mokai, your conflict with your brother, and your bold crusade against the Federation during the war. Even after my death, I heard tales of your exploits. You have made and ended a great many enemies. Many of them now dwell within these halls. I know why these souls are here. What I do not know is why you are here. It is not your time. If you have heard of my exploits, you know of my clash with the tyrant, Jempak. Once he held the office you brought honor to, but it was not enough to sate his lust for power. Now, he calls himself Emperor, and has shattered the great work of my brother. The empire you led with honor is now divided, on the verge of collapse. I am here because I want to restore you to the realm of the living, to help me save it. Your brother often spoke of your boldness. I suspect he might have understated it somewhat. What you seek is not impossible, but I question the need for such a thing. Why seek to restore me from the dead when another former chancellor still breathes? Of what use am I when General Martok, a warrior fit to wield the sword of Kalish, stands at your side? It appears you've heard of my exploits as well, Chancellor. I am honored. As you should be, General. You have served the Empire with honor. And yet, you are reluctant to reclaim the office you once held. Why else would you be here now? I do not blame you. I know too well of the great burden that office brings. And the terrible sacrifices it often demands. Word travels fast here. Your enemies will be on the move. If you do not return to the realm of the living soon, they will strike. Even the greatest warriors can die here. You should leave while you are still able to do so. Join us. Together, we can liberate you from this place and restore you to life as Kalis once was. No, I cannot leave this place. It is a matter of honor. Once, I dwelled in Stovakor among the honored dead. But Vok, my greatest love, was denied entry. He was denied an honorable death, 
and thus his soul was sent to Grethor. I could not bear that, and so I came here and bargained with Feklar for his release. In exchange for Volk's freedom, I offered to take his place. As you can see, my offer was accepted. This is why I cannot leave. To do so would dishonor the agreement and condemn us both to eternal suffering in Gretor. You have traveled here in vain, Ja'ula. I cannot help you. No, I saw it. The crystal showed me the future, and you are a part of it. If you could strike a bargain with the master of Grethor, so can I. I will find Feklar and secure your freedom, or die trying. I have seen such determination before, in the eyes of your honored brother. So be it. I will take you to Feklar. There we shall see how strong your resolve truly is. The stairs beyond those doors lead to Feklar's hall. Feklar. This ought to be interesting. The guards do not seem to be opposed to our passage. They aren't here to keep us away from Feklar. They're here to keep us from escaping him. <laughs> Come here, with hope in your heart. Abandon it. There is no place for hope here. Here. There is only pain. Lady Jaula of House Mokai, I must offer my gratitude to you. Many fresh souls have arrived here of late. Thanks to you and your imperial nemesis. Because of this, I will hear what you have come so far to say. Come forth, speak. What would you ask of the Lord of Grethor? Lord Feklar, I come before you to bargain for the soul of Lorel. I would liberate her from these halls. Ha ha ha! Such impudence! You think you are worthy of commerce with me? My good lady, I am inclined to disagree violently. The ferryman killed many a god by himself. Together, we should be able to finish off Pekla. Watch out! He's calling in tormented souls to fight us as well! <laughs> I can see now why my halls are filled with your slave foes. Your souls are not strong enough to withstand the power of Beklar. Your power in the field of death that hides deep within each of your hearts. You have provided me with great sport. I shall hear your bargain. What do you offer in trade for the soul of the realm? Lord Feklar, I wish to offer my Wait! Hold your tongue, Jahula. Feklar! If it's the soul of a chancellor you want, Take mine instead. Intriguing. I accept, son of the realm. You shall take the realm's place here. Are you mad, Gauron? Better to spend eternity with Klingons than to be alone in the void, even in a place like this. Lord Feklar, this should not be Gauron's fate. I will deliver the soul that belongs here. His treacherous ancestor, Akar. Unacceptable! Gregor is filled with souls such as Akar's. You will have to sweeten the deal. Very well. I shall deliver the souls of Akar and Jempak. That is 
is more like it. I accept your generous offer. Deliver those souls to me, and Gowron shall be free as well. And now, I give you leave to go. Be gone. You are able to leave if you can, but you won't be able to leave free. Whoever brings the realm back to me will be allowed to take her place in Stone Hall. I've dealt with Ferengi that were less treacherous than Fetlar. Be ready. Every soul in Dreadnought is trying to kill us and the game. Let them come. If they want to die again, I'm happy to oblige them. Be mindful of their numbers and their treachery. Quickly, open the front gates. Kortar is waiting for us on the barge. That's not the only thing waiting for us on the other side. Get ready to fight! There's the box. Hurry! Oh, of course, they have fire breathing targs. Kurtar, prepare to weigh anchor. We are leaving in a hurry. Welcome back to the world of the living, and not a moment too soon. A few minutes ago, sensors detected energy signatures over Bore. Fekiri portals. They're sending vessels through as we speak. Has her soul been liberated? Was your mission a success? She was right beside us, fighting the whole way. Did she make it to the barge? She did. I made sure of it. Check her vitals. Give me a medical update now! Life signs are strong. Reading brain activity. Yes! You did it! Laurel has returned safe and sound. Kapla! Right. Three portals in total. Fekiri vessels are emerging from them as we speak. They're holding position for now, but we are heavily outnumbered. Laurel's presence may be a coincidence. Since their return to our space, the Fakiri have made numerous assaults on Barret. Until now, those attacks were repelled by the KDF. And now, with the Empire in a state of disarray, the defense presence here is minimal. The Fakiri saw weakness, and they seized the initiative. This time, they may succeed where they have failed so many times before. Indeed, if the Fakiri want to fight, they came to the right place. I will fight to the end if I must, for today is a good day to die. Well said, Martok. I stand ready for battle as well. It will be an honor to defend this sacred place at your side. You risked all to restore me to life. Honor demands that I fight alongside you, and I do so gladly. So be it. We will make our stand here. Let it be known that we never forgot what it means to be Klingon! I will need to go with one of you, however. After the loss of the Lucara, 
I have no vessel to command in battle. I believe I can be of assistance there, Lady Ja'ula. The monks of Boreth are not entirely without resources after all. Yes, but we will need some time to prepare. Do what you can to hold the line until then. Lady Ja'ula, mother, please come with me. Fekiri portal count remains at three. Reading multiple enemy vessels in the system, we're outnumbered at least three to one. Our first priority should be closing those portals. Until they're gone, our Fakiri problem could continue to grow. I'm reading heavy fluctuations in their graviton fields. At the moment, they appear to be unstable, but they could stabilize over time. Until then, it is a weakness we can exploit. Weapons fire, especially torpedoes, will eventually destabilize a portal's integrity to the point of collapse. Firing a heavy barrage at each portal should do the trick nicely. We need to punch through the ships guarding the portals before reinforcements arrive. It won't take much to collapse the portal. Warning. Take them out as soon as you can. The portal is destabilizing. It's collapsed! There's more to be done. Close the others, quickly. Ah! Back to breath all with you, demon! Don't open the blood wine yet. More Fakiri vessels are coming in from the last portal. That's the last portal. Kapla! Let's deal with the Fakiri stragglers. Target shield has failed. Wait. Much larger than the others. So they're not finished with us here, eh? Make ready for battle! Jola, if you're going to do something, now's the time! The Fakiri Dreadnought is an impressive beast. I will enjoy killing him. I don't think reinforcements are coming. It may be time to consider. Do not finish that sentence. We are Klingons! We will fight to the end! Yes! Boris shall not fall today! Fight now! For Kaelin! For Boris! For the Empire! Four shields This failing. is the IKS Katinga, calling all Klingon forces. I am Lorel of House de Kuvma. Join me! Fight now! For the Empire! Kapla! I'm picking up a ship entering the system at high warp. My difference is with you can wait, Ja'ula. I will not let Boreth Victory fall. is ours. Together, we have protected Boreth from our enemies and returned she who was called Mother to the Empire. Truly a glorious battle, my lady. The Fakiri will think twice before launching an attack here anytime soon. Even so, things got too close for my liking. For a time, it seemed like Reading there were more Fakiri in the space system. than stars. It's one of ours. Thankfully, the monks had that well-preserved surprise Send them up their screaming sleeves. Back to Just where did you find that relic, Tenavik? We have kept it here since my mother's time. Once it served as her flagship, we preserved it as a reminder of a Klingon golden age. Another inbound KDF we vessel. We can win again, this! And it seems that time Target has the nearest come Vakiri at last. And destroy it! Kapla! Indeed. Though I yearn to command the Katinga once more, it has been far too long since I have done so. Space warfare has changed considerably since my time. Until I have reacclimated myself to this era, I can think of no better warrior to command this vessel than Lady Ja'ula of House Mokai. May you lead this vessel and her crew to glory. You honor me, Lorel. Computer, note the transfer of command in the record of battle. For many, 
the Lucara was a symbol of division. May the Katinga serve as a symbol of unity, as my brother's vessel once did. Let the honored few who came to Boreth's aid go now to every corner of the Empire. Tell everyone you meet what happened here today. Tell them that you were at Boreth when Lorel returned. Tell them how we all fought and sent the Fekiri back to Grethar! There is much to be done. We have an empire to restore and a tyrant to depose. But now is not the time for such things. Now is the time to honor our great victories. Tonight, we celebrate, for tomorrow we may die. Kapla! Now that Lorel has been restored, she will be able to counsel Lady Jula on a great many things. Though I have great respect for Jula, there are always lessons to be learned as a leader in the Klingon Empire. And, in such matters, there is no better teacher than Lorel. Yes, with Lorel at her side, I believe Lady Jula can lead our house to victory over Jempok and restore our shattered empire to glory. That battle lies ahead of us, however. When the time comes, be ready to answer the call to arms. <laughs> 